Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Of course, it would it would not be fair for for me not to, for me not to mention the importance of this initiative for the people that I also represent in Castries South East, as well as the people associated with the work of the Ministry of Equity. Mr. Speaker, the Bell Fund that was established, and of course, the former Prime Minister, the member for Beaufort South made reference to the number of agencies that were established under his watch. And the micro, this micro loan business, the, the James Bell Grave, is so important in the scheme of things. And um, we, we have not put on display the extent to which James Belgrave has contributed to the economy. There's not been, there's not been any study on it. But there are a lot of flourishing businesses around Castries, and they started off with James Belgrave. There are many, many, many successful businesses, and that's where they started. But sadly to report, Mr. Speaker, that James Belgrave under the past administration was allowed to get rejected or thrown out or deregistered, and currently through the Ages Chamber, we are trying to put it back. Not only that it was deregistered, it was also placed on the third floor of a building in, uh, a, how do you call it, Blue, uh, not Blue Coral, that is Gablewoods Mall. Oh. Gablewoods Mall, on the third floor, and you only have access to, a, to three flights of stairs. And downstairs that building, they put fast cash. Oh my God. You know, so, so you know, beg your pardon? Wait, where was it before? Okay, it was a more, wherever it was in Leslie, it was more accessible. And of course, it used to be somewhere by, um, by Bernard Hill. It was closer to the, to the business area where ordinary people could have access to it. But I rise to speak to the essence of the presentations media today, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, th this discussion is sometimes sounds very mechanical. Like we are just doing things. We, 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 we are organizing small business. We are coming here to package to take care of vulnerable population. These initiatives are wrapped with one, we understand the dignity of our people. We believe they have a right to survival and we love them. So this is, this is about caring for our population. Sometimes when I listen to how it's being presented, the people may just believe that is the rudiments of just sitting down in cabinet. No, there is a passionate concern for the ordinary people of St. Lucia by this government. And when we sit and believe nighttime, late at night, is because we are planning to care for them. The people must know this. And therefore the presentation made by, uh, the two presentations made today as it relates to vulnerable people, as well as small businesses. This is a gift. This is our concern. This is love for people. And I tell St. Lucians, as I've experienced, I'm not a business person, you know, trained as a surveyor, but I admire business people. Business well, I, I offer service, but those persons who put their trays by the market and they consistently put it out for day in and day out for many years. I admire them. I tried when I was younger to sell Aki's just for the summer and I could not even spend a day because I used to hear the fellas playing football by Marsha and while I sit down by Chaucer Road selling Aki's, I would sell it quickly as possible. If it's 10 for one cent, I give more so I could go and play my football. You know, when I get home, my mother used to say, Messi wa fin van. When she checked the money, she would know what happened. But I'm saying that I admire people by the market Discipline day in and day out, <laughs> selling to make a living. <laughs> and Approved. there is a love for our people. We admire them when we pass by and we watch them doing their thing. We have a love for them and we want to help them. When we pass and we see the small shops going through their struggles, we sit in cabinet, we reflect on them, we care about them. And we prepare for them and we offer because of their dignity and their rights as St. Lucians. Their rights. So, no pas vin fe la charité. 
bah yo, nous pas venir faire considérer c'est un bagage nous qu'a fait comme nous qu'a fait bah yo parce que nous quoi yo ni a droit oui sauver et nous aimer peuple pays cette place ici ça est important and it is very important because we want Saint Lucians to appreciate what we're trying to do and we also want them to up to accept it as a right they have a right to be served because some or the other when I grew up in this country. There was a time I, I, I thought that it was only some set of solutions that had to be solved. And sometimes when you, you, you at school, you saw the behavior of certain persons at, at school, I met them. And there are some behaviors I've seen in politics. It's not new to me, I saw it at school. I saw the same behavior at school. Almost certain things, some, some, something about, uh, some philosophers say that we grow old but we do not change much and sometimes I tend to believe it. Mm. You understand? But it's important for ordinary St. Lucians, ordinary St. Lucians to understand this today. That the presentations and how we catering for them, we're not doing it mechanically like moving our seats like Nuraj Esfa Bai Bai. No. This thing is wrapped with love, caring, their dignity must be intact and their rights. Their rights. And I dare say, if you fail, do not worry, try again. Because sometimes our people are afraid, especially young people are afraid to get on to, to try something because they're afraid to fail. The biggest fear sometimes is to be afraid to fail. You try and you try again. And Mr. Speaker, more concerning for me based on my, my recent participation in the OAS in listening to, to a presentation by one scientist who said that currently machines are responsible for approximately 40% of labor and humans are doing 60% by, but by the year 2030 it will be 50-50. It means therefore the world is changing as it relates to machines and some or the other COVID has actually caused certain professions to disappear. I know the Santo of the Dominican Republic is doing a study on it to find out what jobs have disappeared as a result of COVID. But COVID has messed up the economy that some jobs will not return. Some businesses will not return. Our people are coming to us because they want to be employed. And the best and most dignified way to deal with poverty is to give persons jobs. That is why I heard the, 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 the member for the, the former the leader of the opposition said that we must grow the economy first to take care of the poor. If you have no people, you can't have no country. If you can't take care of your people, how, who, what do you grow? You must do both. Both is necessary. You understand? If you have a home with children, you must take care of your children and you must still go to work and provide and pay the bills. You cannot say that I'll go to work and leave the children hungry. No. In small island developing states, it's important that while we grow the economy, we must invest in the population because what is on the horizon is scary for most developing countries. One, climate change, two, there seem to be a growing issue of unemployment. We are likely to see a lot more professions disappearing. And the new professions that come in on stream as a result of the big data, we must prepare our population for taking advantage. How best do you do this? You must invest in our population. So the small business support this is not about the construction of, 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 of hotels. That is needed, I understand that. But this is different. This is to the heart of the population of St. Lucia. This is the heart to our development. This is to the security of St. Lucia when we do such investment. And I want to applaud the Prime Minister and members of cabinet for doing it with the love and the passion and understanding that we care, we love, and we're going to re we want to maintain, and in some instances, restore the dignity and pride of St. Lucians, especially ordinary St. Lucians, because they have a stake in this country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.